What's up, everybody? Welcome to Casual Gaming, a new series I'm gonna be working on. Casual PC games, basically, is what I'm gonna be playing in this series. Uh, hidden object games, for the most part, because, you know, uh, it's my favorite genre within these casual PC games. We have others like Match 3 or uh, action arcade games such as Plants vs. Zombies or time management games such as Dinner Dash. Uh, or breakout style games uh, so I'll be playing a little bit of everything but I'll be playing for the most part this kind of game hidden object games I'll be playing Interpol 2 most wanted uh, probably many of you knew that I did Interpol 1 the Trail Doctor Chaos for the PC as well on GameAnyone.com as an exclusive well I'll be playing the sequel I'll be working on two uh, casual games at the same time two projects uh, one of them will be, let's say, a classic uh, casual game and the other one will be a brand new release because they're, they're getting released every single day uh, mostly hidden object games as I said before this is a sort of classic uh, hidden object game and also I'll be playing at the same time, you will see later on um, the sort of brand new uh, can not release uh, in terms of casual PC games. So, to Agent Retro from Interpol HQ, the subject, the Troika. Three of uh, our most wanted criminals, collectively known as the Troika, have recently been sighted around the world. You must find and bring them all to justice for their crimes. The criminals go by the code names of The Collector, Mr. Nobody, and The Siren. Your mission is to locate and apprehend these criminals. You will be sent to their uh, last known whereabouts. There, you will be uh, you will investigate the area for clues that will hopefully lead us directly to them. Our anal analysts, sorry, uh, and other field agents will assist you as much as they can via your PDA good hunting. It's very similar to um, Interpol One, same graphics in general. Same design, obviously the, the locations and the music is different. But the gameplay is really entertaining, it's, it's pretty much like the first one, that's why uh, it's worth giving it a shot. I play a few missions of this, three or four missions. The rest is blind, will be blind. Let's take a look. Mission 1, Dry Run. Agent, your first assignment is to track down the Collector, wanted for multiple crimes of death, deception and larceny. He's the type who just can't keep his hand away from certain things. The Collector was reportedly last seen in St. Petersburg. However, our analysts, analysts sorry, want to perform a dry run test of your equipment and put your mission PDA through its paces before you, uh, you head out into the field. They have identified a number of unique objects located throughout HQ. Uh, find all of the items they, are, uh, they have listed before the time limit elapses. Good luck. So a training mission, basically. No, haven't started the missions themselves. So this is Interpol HQ. Let's go first to room 314. Why not? You see, it's basically the same design as Interpol 1. The, the list is, you know green instead of blue as the first one but for the most part we are talking about the exact same mechanics as the first game so let's see Jing Janis was here very easy to find number five was up here two stars it's on the guys buddy it's one and this is the other one a record Kane here it is at symbol Hmm, I haven't seen it yet. Glasses, here. A calculator, oh wait a minute, well that was a fork, the calculator was here. What's a coincidence? Okay. Joystick globe, what? Ah, remember I can use hints, I can select the item I want to find. Let's try not to use any hints, well, I will be eventually using a couple of them, but it is not used that four of them so soon try to keep them till the very end
Yeah, that's a globe. At symbol, where is it? Tricky. Ah, no, here it is. On the screen. Very simple, after all. <laughs> Next, R and D archives. Well, in total we have 10 objects, but for me it's enough to find 8 of them. That's it. Camera. Eye scanner. Binoculars. Feather. Candle. Two flashlights. I see one flashlight and I found the other one as well. I saw umbrella. And one more object, and I haven't used any hint. I can use one right now. Let's let's use a hint for, for you to see how it works. Using hints. After clicking the hint button, choose the object from the list that you need help in finding. The selected object will be highlighted on the screen. Click on the object to remove it. Let's go for the candle. It was there. Quite simple. Agent. Our analysts are apparently experiencing some technical difficulties with your new gear. They wanted to help them sort out the problem with another field test. Good luck. You will be sent out to St. Petersburg immediately after. So I have to find 10 microscopes in the location. Click on an object to select it. It's quite simple. 2. It's on the book. 3. 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the word microscope on the screen. That's a tricky one. We should complete it. Not even three minutes. Quite short. So mission 2, Eastern Talk. Agent, we received several reports placing the collector in St. Petersburg. We wanted to verify these claims. Since their tests proved your killing was in proper working order, our analysts uh, have uploaded a list for your current investigation. It will be updated when you have completed it. Be seeing you. So mission number 2, Eastern Talk, St. Petersburg, two places, Hermitage Exterior, and Hermitage interior. 18 out of 20 objects will be enough in here. 